Hi everyone, Gina Kay here, and today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you a clean and simple holiday card project featuring the new Sparkling Christmas Stamp TV kit. Let me show you the tools and products you need to make this card project. First, you're going to need some ink, and the ink that I'm using today are the Cherry Red ink pad by Gina Kay Designs, the Fresh Asparagus ink pad, and some Versamark ink. Then you're going to need an embossing magic pad. This removes the static and also any oil on the surface of your card so your embossing powder only sticks to the parts that you want it to. Your embossing powder only sticks to the parts that you want it to. And speaking of embossing powder, I'm going to be using the Gina K Designs Fine Detail White Powder. I'm also going to possibly use some of the prismatic glitter. This is the frozen color. It's the it's so pretty. It's just a white, sparkly, iridescent color. I also have a few brads here, and I'm going to use a couple of those for my project. I like to store them in these little jars. I bought this little set of jars at Hobby Lobby, and they're perfect for storing winter brads and then spring and summer, and so I like those. Other options for glitter are the Wink of Stella pen and the Sakura Stardust pen. So I have both of these out too as other options for glittering up the snowflakes in this particular card. Okay, and speaking of snowflakes, I'm going to be using one of the snowflake dies from the new Sparkling Christmas Stamp TV kit. Now you can use one die and cut all your snowflakes out with that, or you can use both snowflake dies and have different shaped snowflakes for this project. It's totally up to you. Now if I use this loose glitter, I'm going to need some glue, and I have a quickie glue pen here. Another option is a glue stick. So I have an Elmer's glue stick here. So we can also use that if we want. Then I have a craft pick. This is the Tim Holtz craft pick for piercing a hole in the, in the card to add the brad. For card stock, I'm using the Cherry Red by Gina K Designs, the White and the Fresh Asparagus. And these are all in the Sparkling Christmas kit. For stamps, I'm using stamps from the stamp set called Sparkling Christmas. It's the Christmas Greeting, One of the Snowflakes, and the Christmas Greetings Saying. I'm also going to be using my Score Buddy. And we're going to start with that for this project today. So I'm going to grab this piece of fresh asparagus cardstock. And I'm going to line it up on the three inch mark. So I'm going to put one corner at the top of three inches and then I used a sharpie down here and I put a little line so I always know where three inches is at the bottom. And I'm going to have both points on the three inch mark. Then I'm going to hold that down and I'm going to score every quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to follow that up. And this is pretty easy to do, especially on the Score Buddy or the new Score Pal, because all the quarter, they have all the quarter of an inch markings. Let's see, and this one is there, and this one is here. Okay, so now I've got the one side done, and you can see how that looks on that side. Now I'm going to flip it around and put it back on that 3 inch mark and I'm going to finish the other side. And this just makes it easier because if you're right handed it's easier. If you're left handed you probably want to do it the other way. Or you can always turn your score buddy upside down if you're left handed. That's another option. Okay, so now I've got that whole thing done. I'm going to flip it the opposite way now and put it back on the three inch mark. And I'm going to add more score lines. Same way, every quarter of an inch. Now this takes the place of using an embossing folder. You may have a nice snowflake or dot pattern or some other nice pattern that you want to use instead. But if you don't, I'm flipping it around again, both points on three inches. If you don't, 
you can always do this to create a nice embossed background. And sometimes if I'm going stamping with friends somewhere and I don't want to take uh, an embossing machine, I can just bring my score buddy because I have to score my cardstock to fold it and then I can also create this really cool background so I have an embossed background. Isn't that fun? All right, so, and you can try different spacing too. You could do every half inch for a bigger look. You can do eighth inch if you want for a really tight look. So that's kind of a fun pattern. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. And now I'm going to grab this strip of cherry red. And I'm gonna run my embossing magic pad over that. And then I'm gonna grab the greeting, the Christmas greetings with some Versamark. I'm gonna ink that up real well. And excuse my head if it gets in the way here. I just wanna make sure this is nice and straight. So, and I wanna give that ink a second to transfer. There we go. And now I've got a little scrap of folded paper here, and I'm going to use that white powder and add that to that greeting. You can see how pretty that is. Isn't that an elegant look? <laughs> okay. So let me put this back. And now, I'm going to emboss that using my heat tool. And our embossing powder is so nice. It's the fine detail white. So you get all of that real elegant detail without it kind of swelling up too much and taking some of the detail away. Okay, so there we go. There is that greeting. Okay, I just wanna make sure, look at it on an angle, see if I have all the shine. Now this piece is going to go on top of this piece of white. So I'm going to, just wanna lay that down so I don't get any embossing powder or anything on the front. Sometimes it, it's hard to brush it away if the cardstock is still warm. And I'm going to line that up like that. Okay. So there is my strip. Now I'm going to adhere this piece of fresh asparagus onto this white panel. And then I'm going to put the strip across the center of this panel. Let's see, let's move that over just a hair. I didn't like where that was. All right, there we go. Okay, so now this panel is going to go, I'm gonna put it up just a hair because I wanna add a snowflake down in here and I don't want it to go too far off of that piece of cardstock. So we'll put that up a bit. Right about here. There we go. Now it's time to cut a snowflake. And I'm going to do that using my Cherry Lynn Designs crossover machine and some white cardstock. So I'm gonna put that down more over to the side because it is a detailed die. And I'm gonna run it back and forth just a couple times to make sure it cuts all the way through. Okay, that should do it. So there we go. And now I'm gonna use my 
craft pick here. Let's see if I can just get it started. Okay. Loosen it up a little bit. All I need to do is just move one of these out of here. There we go. And the whole piece will come out then. Like that. You can see how pretty that is. So much detail in that. And then these you can poke out. Sometimes you can hit them a few times on a hard surface, and a lot of them will just come out. Did you see that all come out there? But for some of them that get stuck, there's these little holes in the back, and you can just push those right out. Now I want to show you something else, too, that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. You know, whenever you go to Hobby Lobby, there's always some cool thing that you want to try. And I went there, and I was looking at these foam pieces, just looking at fun foam and different things like that, and I found this stuff. This is called Silly Winks, and it's just glitter sheets, and it's really, really, it's foam, and then it's got glitter all in it. So I want to show you how easy this is to cut a snowflake out of this glitter sheet. Now, it's not super thin. It's, it's got a little bit of um, thickness to it, but I want to show you how well these dies cut. So... Let me just put that right on there and we'll run it through the machine. Do it back and forth a couple times. What I liked about this, I like this so much, is that you could make beautiful Christmas ornaments for a tree out of this stuff. And it gets all the detail. Grab my pick, gently lift those out. You'll get all the detail that you do on cardstock. But it already has the glitter built in. And it's got, isn't that pretty? And these just poke right out. Because it's foam, it, it doesn't fall out as easy as um, cardstock, but it's totally cut, so it's very easy to get them out with the craft pick or, you know, any kind of little pin or something that you would want to use for this. You can see how nice that comes out. Just get these out, and then I want to show you what it looks like. get the machine out of the way so you can really see the color. Okay, so that's what it looks like and you can see it's real flexible. But wouldn't that be so pretty just to hang some gold cording on that and then hang those off of a tree? They also would really be pretty on Christmas tags. Anything that you need to make fast. So. Those sheets were only 99 cents, so I bought a couple of them. They have different colors, and I chose the white iridescent one because that seemed to make the most sense to use for snowflakes. So that's what these look like. Here's the other snowflake that I cut out using that same foam. That's the other one that comes in the kit. Lots of detail in those. Now, here are the paper ones that I just cut out. I have another one here that I had cut a little bit earlier. Now there's a couple different ways that we can glitter these up. One way is to use either a glue stick or the quickie glue pen. And when I use a glue stick, it's real easy. You just, well, you should put something down first. But it's real easy to just kind of spread that glue all over. This is very, very sticky glue. And then I would put the whole thing onto a little folded card. And then sprinkle your glitter on top. And 
and just kind of smash it all into the snowflake. That'll really make it stick. And then just brush away the excess and now you have a very, very sparkly, shiny. You can see that glitter is just so pretty all over that snowflake. So that's kind of a fun way to do it. Another fun way to glitter up a snowflake is to use the Wink of Stella pen. So, or the Sakura Stardust pen, and they can be used pretty much the same way. So, you just have to start it and get some of that glitter flowing through the tip of the pen, and then just brush it all over. And it's for some reason it's it's hard to pick this up on camera, but when you see it in person, it is really shimmery. It's just a, a, a liquid, a clear liquid, and then it's got different color of different colors of micro glitter in that liquid. So depending on what color you buy, this is the clear, so you're just getting pure shimmer, no color, but they have it in all different colors, red, blue, green, so if gold, silver, so if you wanted to have other colors of glitter, that will work. So that is done with the Wink of Stella pen. And of course you can also use the Stardust pen and that one, that might be a little bit easier to control if you're uh, out and about and you're just taking your stuff with you. You can just actually draw right all over that snowflake like that and add your glitter that way. You can be more precise too with the Stardust pen because it is like a ballpoint pen and then this clear micro glitter just flows out of it. So that's another way to create some sparkle. All right, so once you've glittered up your snowflakes, and I have two here that are done, so I think I will use the ones with the frozen glitter because they're really pretty and they're really sparkly. Then you can lay them out the way you want on your card. So I would put one here and one down here like that. And then you want to punch holes into the center of the snowflake. So I don't have my mouse pad, so I'm just going to use my embossing magic pad for this. So I'm going to poke one here and one down here. Okay. And then I'm going to grab those little brads. These are the winter ones that we carry on our website. So they have all the wintry colors in there. I'm just going to take two of the white ones. These are by Eyelet Outlet. Move one of these out of the way. And then line that up. I will slip the brad in there. And you want to do this part first before you mount it to your card base. This way this is all hidden on the back. You can slip this through beforehand if that's easier. Find that little hole. Okay, so now I have the two snowflakes on there. And now I'm going to add this whole panel onto my cherry red card base. There we go. And you can make this look a little bit more dimensional by kind of lifting these up a little bit off the card. But it's a nice card because it it lays pretty flat for mailing. It does have the brads in there, but what I tend to do is if I'm sending something that has a brad on it, I will just cut a quarter sheet of cardstock and just lay it on top before I slip it into the envelope. And this way, it's not likely to break through on the envelope and it keeps the front smoother.
So now let's do the inside of this card. We want to do something fun on the inside. So let's grab this white piece here and we're going to start with some fresh asparagus ink and then grab a extra piece of paper. This is the one I've been working on with glitter and all of that stuff. So I'll use this one. And we want this ink to match the card, but we don't want it to be quite as dark. And the best way to do that is to stamp off once and then you can stamp it and it'll just be a lighter version of that fresh asparagus. So we're going to stamp it off once on this scrap piece of paper and then stamp it again onto the cardstock. And you can see that lightens it up quite a bit. That's the color it was before. Lightens it up quite a bit. So we're going to add three snowflakes here. Like that. And then one more down here. Like that. Then, using the cherry red ink, and you can see I've made quite a few of these because I have stained my stamp cherry red, but that's okay. It's well loved. I'm going to put this greeting here right on the inside. I like this greeting with this layout because it has the word sparkle in it. So, that is my greeting. And now this whole greeting is going to go onto this fresh asparagus panel, and that will go on the inside of the card like that, but straight. So here's one that I did earlier. I put the greeting up a little bit higher, you can see. But that is my finished card project. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV video. Stay tuned to Stamp TV for more holiday projects featuring the new Sparkling Christmas Stamp TV kit.